Hi guys, welcome to a quick review of this here. Uh, this is a, uh, uh, well you can see what it is, it's a Ravel Phantom uh, F4, obviously, uh, C stroke D Phantom. The kit number is 04583. Um, this is my little review of it. I hope you enjoy. I've got a different angle for the. Um, I brought a little a cradle thing to try and get me an overview, view, overview, overview. So, feedback, please, chaps. If you want to tell me what you thought of it, uh, if it is rubbish, let me know. If it was okay, let me know. Here it is. Cheers, chaps. Right here we go, then, lads. Uh, Ravel Phantom uh, box number zero four five uh, eight three. Um, nice art on this one, as you can see. <laughs> Let's see what it's like inside. Um, super decal sheet, usual uh, Ravel stuff on the side. You know, all that usual stuff on there. Let's have a look inside here. So, side opening box as per usual on Ravel stuff, which isn't which isn't brilliant, as you can imagine if you've. Um, uh, ever made Ravel kit, which I'm sure you have. The side opening box is never brilliant. Uh, right, let's pop them down there. Turn that upside down the other way. So here we go. What should we do first? I think we'd better look at this kit because I'm not liking the look of the state of it. Um, bearing in mind this kit was uh, given to me. Um, thank you, Doug. Um, and it was, um, I believe he might have got it um, a second from, from a second hand store anyway. So we've got all in one bag, um, it's loose as well. How many bits are going to be damaged? Well, there's a cockpit tub to start with. How many other bits are we going to find? We don't know. So we might as well just get on with it, haven't we? If this rustling's coming through, chaps. Uh, I'll do a point there. Right, should I look at the fuselage? I'm seeing it's the. Um, let's have a look at the fuselage halves. So that they're the ones that are. Oh, yeah. Okay. Mindy, mindy. Right. Well, the first thing we can see there is. Lots and lots of flash on here, all on there. Any on the kit parts? Well, yeah, there's a little bit. If you can see that, there's a bit there, look. Bits here, bits all around there. Um, there's a funny smell coming off this. Um, I don't know where it's been. Anyway, uh, for one thing, I hope you can see all that, you're getting all that in. That's a sizeable, um, excuse me. That is a sizeable kit. I've, as you've probably been noticing, or if you've been paying attention to any of my um, video output, I've been doing a lot of uh, 172nd um, um, aircraft and, the, and one little 148. Um, a vehicle, and this is a massive jump in in size for me. I do um usually I do usually do forty eight, but uh, that's uh, that's huge. Right, let's have a look at this. So we've got raised panel lines, which I kind of knew to be honest. Um, we have got some nice detail if you can see that there. Rivets. Um, Moulded in um, a rester hook rivets. I don't know whether you can see that because I can't. I've got no monitor, so I don't know whether you can see the rivets here. So I'll just actually, if I just do that, look. <laughs> brings up actually that brings that's a bit of weathering to start off with. So I've got some nice rivets, but raised lines.
Yeah, I'm going to need your help with this, guys, I think. Nice door, nice, um, um, what's some nice detail on the doors. I'm assuming these are the carriage doors. Some, um, actually, some not bad detail on the inside of the cockpit. Oh, there. Nothing inside. Big injector pin, that's not going to be out of the way, I think. Some more flash there. So that side's reasonable. To the side. Yeah, it, it's it's the same, isn't it? It's um, raised lines. Yeah, well, I'm going to lose these. Can you see them? I'm going to lose them, I can't imagine. When we put these two halves together, that! That's a big bird! <laughs> I tell you, these are, they are massive aircraft. If you've ever seen, if you're old enough to have seen one of them flying, or if you've been to a museum, the Fleet Air Museum they, uh, near to me has got uh, um, a Royal Navy um, Phantom, and it is absolutely enormous. Um, there's not a lot on these missiles, although there is some nice pins there, and there, and there, and there, and there, and there. No other details, there's a bit of a line there, but. Not a lot there, is it? Yeah, there's a bit of detail on the inside of there. There's probably more on this. Funny that, oh, you can see that, guys. Better this side than it is on the port side. Bit of a, bit of a shame, that. Oh well, okay. Um, dealing with raised panel lines. That's going to be interesting. Right, I'll, I'll try not to keep you on this um, on this little review, chaps, because I know it's um, you know it can be rather boring. Well, we can get all the rest of these out now. Now we've got the main fuselage trials out. Here we go. Bits flying everywhere. Right, what should we have a look at first? I'll tell you what, let's I'll pull that underneath there and we can get rid of these here and we can get rid of them there and we'll look at the cockpit tub. Cop cockpit tub. There is some detail here. Moulded in seat harnesses, well, you know, at least they're there. Could you make a deal of that? That's not that bad. That's not that bad. A bit of flash on there. Get rid of that. It's not too bad. Not too bad. Um, if anyone knows, um, I might I might have a look at getting a resin cockpit for this um, for this kit. I have actually looked. There isn't anything for the kit itself, but there's obviously quite a bit for Hasegawa um, um, uh, kits. Now I know we've well, um, retools or use or use the uh, Hasegawa mouldings, but I, I really don't think this is a Hasegawa. Oh, here we go. There's a stamp here. Look, uh, Ravel. Look, can you see that? So this isn't a uh, Hasegawa pressing. So whether you could use a um, how much of a shoe on it would be to get a Hasegawa um, resin cockpit or, or a resin cockpit made for a Hasegawa kit into this if you could let me know if it's worth doing or, it, or whether you know, I ought to stick with the kit parts please let me know um, answers on the postcard to the usual places uh, right wing, top of wings again we've got some nice details, some nice rivets but we've got this raised now whether i rescribe all this can you see whether i rescribe all this stuff or, or whether we 
keep it in um, and go with it. I really don't know. There is some nice detail on these drop tanks. Look. Nice details there. Um, these will be the air intakes. I hopefully you won't see them. Detail on there. There's some inside the, um, the wheel bay. There's a bit of detail there. 1979. We've seen that. So that's you know that's not too bad. Again, great big wing, isn't it? Right, underside of wing. Oh yeah, look at this. Look, this is nice. Look, this is okay. 1979. So you've got recessed um, detail. We've got some nice um, forward undercarriage, uh, nose undercarriage, uh, wheel bay uh, detail. Well, that's okay. 1979. This looks okay. Um, but then you've got these raised lines again. Look. Some nice rivets here. Rivets all down here. Rivets and raised lines. It's a bit like what you could call it. It's a crossover kit, couldn't you? Nice detail on more doors, I'm assuming. Crossover kit when they could do <laughs> um, certain bits, but then it would leave the raised. If that had sunken lines, this would be a really nice, really nice kit. Seats. Yeah, they're a bit, aren't they? To, by today's standards, they're nothing much, are they? But 79, they would have been top drawer. Instrument panel. Not quite nice. Again, missiles. Yeah, they could need some quite a bit of work on there. Oh, look at these. <whistles> look at that. Can you see that? Oh, look at that. Beauty. Thanks, lads. Uh, lots of more missile parts. I don't know what these missiles are called. I'm no expert, by the way. See, they're not too bad at all. I think we'd bin them and just use these. What are these? Sidewinders, are they? They're not bad at all. They're not bad. We could use them and not the other ones. Uh, what we've gone with now, let's have a look at these. Uh, we've got some rear stabilizers here. Again, same again, mixture of raised, raised and some rivet. Nice detail on this um, wing pylon. Um, instrument panel, I'm assuming that could be the, for the navigator at the back. Do they have navigators or is it weapons officer? Early phantoms. Burner cans. Well, yeah, they have something or nothing. I suppose you could make them. They're something or nothing, aren't they? But you know, you could. They're all right, aren't they? Not too bad. Get some um, metalizer paints on there. Get them buffer balls, maybe. Get them buffed up. I'm um, hopefully there's going to be um, something to go in there. Some sort of. Um, Oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Compressor blades. Well, it's comp compressed blades at the back, but you know what I mean. Some detail, put it that way. Okay, and moving on to the final sprue that I've got is we've got some wheels. Wheels. We've got the chaps. Let's have a look at matey. Would you use him? He's alright. Flashy, probably wouldn't use him. Um, we've got undercarriage legs, part of the seat. Air intake, so they part of them. Oh, that's going to be nice to flashy there. Look, be all right, isn't it? there is available obviously um, wheels, which would be resin wheels which would be 
probably less of an issue to install than the, the cockpit. Maybe that might be a way, way forward. These are okay, but resin would be much nicer. Yeah, I mean, that is is what it is, isn't it? It's like going back in time looking at this kit. It's like going back in time and that's just this little, um, this little pylon, random pylon that fell out. <sighs> oh, you sod you, look at them. Look at that. Can you see that? You sod. That's not great, is it? So, let's have a look at some clear, and let's hope we might get a bit of joy out of this. So we've got one clear, which has been bashed around, you can see that, and I can't get it out. There we go, here it comes. Out you come, out you come, come on. Okay. Uh, seems a bit thick. You might hear my son in the background. He'll start singing in a minute or playing the guitar. Um, yeah, they're clearish. They're clearish. They're not, you know, trumpeter standard. There is no line. There is probably no clean up to do. There's a bit of flash on it. There's no line to get rid of, which is the, probably the main thing for me because I've got. Uh, serviceable. Whether you'd actually have them closed because the because um, the cockpit's not fantastic. It's not bad, but it ain't a fantastic thing. Two sex chaps, and we'll get the. Oh, 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 oh. And we're back with the instructions. Um, I'll look at the decals in a minute, they don't look too bad. Uh, instructions, right, um, Revel instructions, there's a bit here, we can read that, if you want to have a look at that, you can do, whether you can see that, pause that if you wanted to do that, if not, I wouldn't bother. Uh, 15 minutes, right, usual thing, Revel, old school, um, well, you can see I don't need to tell you this. So use most of the, uh, hopefully, they're the ones that we don't have to use. That would be good, wouldn't it? Parts not used. That would be good if we don't have to use them. Mix up your own paint. Brilliant. Usual thing, cockpit. What's it got for the internal colour of the cute pit? Anthracite and the main one is uh, oh, it's nice and black pit then. Is that right? And Bernie Phantoms black cockpit. Um, usual thing. Actually, there's not a lot of parts in this kit. Is a um, cockpit all in, um, and then we go usual. You can see that bottom of the wing. That goes into the, you can see all this, cans go on, you probably might leave them until after you've painted. Um, standard, standard, nothing difficult here. I do believe there might be an issue with these air intakes. Uh, a friend of mine has actually built a similar kit to this, I think it is the same kit. But it was um, branded under, under the monogram. Uh, monogram boxing, but I think it's the same kit. And he said, "Watch the um, the air intakes." I mean, going together, there's only thirty six steps. On a one forty eight jet, you'd have a, at least twice as that normally. You'd imagine loads of stencils, which is is what it is, isn't it? Oh, oh, loads <laughs> of stencils. Um, 
Same camo scheme, obviously. One from a Dutch airbase, by the look of it. 1984. Oh, 1976. Don't know which one to do. Might do the. Which one do you think, lads? Use your tri tritone camo scheme. Which one's it going to be? I like that little detail. I might hide the fact that you're going to lose all that um, um, little um, on, the, on the top there. Anyway, same scheme. Uh, which one appeals? Oh, I do quite like that one actually. That Dutch has got I like that big white SP. Like the, Dutch, the one that's. Um, I'm assuming that's. I'm assuming that's Holland. To enter. I don't know what you say. Right, that's the instructions, and then finally, um, this rather nice deco sheet printed in Italy. Um, nice and flat, nice and thin, no problem there. You'd probably cut that bit out of there and have them separate. Loads of stenciling, not as many, not as much as you think. Big stencils, so you wouldn't. I ain't gonna lose them. <laughs> so he says. Yeah, that's not too bad at all. Uh, the decals are probably the best bit of the kit, but uh, um, there you go, chaps. Um, hang on, let's just get the box. Well, they got the box back. Just put that on there. Uh, there it is. F four C stroke D Phantom. Um, Old school 1979 kit with some nice um, uh, details thrown in in the mix. We'll see what we can do with it. Thank you very much, chaps. Uh, there, there, there you go. Let me know how that how you thought that review went, please. Um, this is going to be entered into um, into the ISM um, or non ISM, I should say, International Scale Modeler um, Phantom um, Sig. And I can't remember what the actual title is. Sorry, Guy. Paul. This is what you do when you don't do your homework. <laughs> Embarrassing. Um, okay. Um, I've actually decided, I've actually had to think, you now we said about that revert the resin cockpit, I think I might go with what we've got. It challenging, you know, it's, it's one thing buying a, you know, buying loads of resin and stuff. I know that's a challenge getting it in. Uh, but it's also a challenge using an old kit uh, and see if we can make see if we can make anything of it. I'm um, sorry, I've been glasses all the time. Um, there you go. Uh, thank you very much. And um, you can catch me in all the usual places: Facebook, um, ISM, Google Plus, anywhere you like. Drop me a line. Come and say hello. And um, I think that's it. Happy modelling and uh, take care, lads. Take care. <laughs>